Hello, welcome back. This is Shaji. This is C programming video tutorials. And in this program, we are going to see a program uh, to read the contents, to open and read the contents of a file. So, previously we have seen how to create and remove a file. So, this program we are going to see how to read the content of a file. Here in this program, we have the standard stdio.h header file, conio.h console input output file, and string.h header file. These files are included here in this program. And uh, in this program, we have uh, we are using file pointer p star p and an array to store the name of a file and here we are going to print open file ampersand file and get us we are going to read the name of the file and p equal to f open file comma r that means uh, we are using the f open of f open function in read mode with the file name which we have already given through the getters and uh, here we have reading the values reading the contents after opening the file if p if there is anything in the pointer p then we are using f getters it's a function for getting the string values from the string values from the uh, file and we are limiting the maximum characters to 60 from the area where the pointer p is pointing into that is our file and we are printing it out the data in the file is and we are going to print the string st is a uh, character array in which we are going to save the values and if suppose the file is not existing we are going to echo it out file does not exist so let us run this program and see control f9 file and uh, that is displayed open file is displayed we have to give the name of file ok uh, if I am giving a b and enter nothing happens that means that file uh, does not exist Okay, let us run once again and see give some other name my file dot txt that's a file we have created just now the data in the file is hello world there uh, where there is a will there is a way. all those things are there that is a file which we have already created so here in this program first of all uh, in the main uh, usually we won't be having anything in the main but here in this case in the main method character st80 is there character st80 character array one character array is declared in the main itself the name of the character array is st so that st we are using here while running the program it will ask for the file file open and we will be giving the name of the file here that name will be read here with the help of getters it is used to getters is used to read a string and we are opening the file in read mode and that file pointer p is used to open the file and access it f getters is a method to read the contents inside the file and whatever character is read uh, we are going to limit the number of length with 60 and that will be read into the structure sorry to the array st character array st with the reference of pointer uh, file pointer and we are printing it out 
and at the end of the at the end of the st so we will be having some sequence of characters usually a string will end with slash zero character at the end slash zero at the end so the terminate termination character to end the string properly so that zero is added here Slash zero is added at the end of this string. St st is already having the values up to 60 va 60 characters, which uh, which are all the characters read from getters. And additionally, we are putting the termination character at the end of the string because for a string it is required to show where it is ending. So otherwise, it will simply display the values up to 80 characters. We not we may not be having all the 80 characters in use because the file will be uh, small in size not only that we are limiting it to 60 characters to read so this way we can print the string st uh, as a string mod and if the file is not existing it should give the uh, display the file is not existing instead of this get ch here if you give the get ch at the end it will be a little better because even if the file is not existing that display will be visible on the user output screen previously we couldn't see it because there was no get ch after it so we are giving one get ch uh, for both the condition if as well as the s, s condition so this is a program uh, character array is declared here file name that we can give dynamically that is the speciality of the program whichever program uh, whichever file you want to read that can be given directly from the console with uh, by the user with the help of this program and the content of that file can be read as well so here I am going to create a new file uh, so let's clear the screen copy copy con copy from console and I am going to give the name as a dot txt for the file and I am typing it underscore t e a c h e r at yahoo dot com that's my email id and I am Closing the file. Okay. This is the content in the file. Okay. Let me exit and go back to the program. So a.txt is the name of the file which I have created just now. So open file, it is asking for the name of the file I am giving. So already it is here a.txt data in the file is it underscore teacher1 at yahoo.com it got printed so it is well and fine working so please try this program and this program is not that difficult to understand hope you could have understood it please try this program by yourself you can do necessary modifications you can change the name of the files and even the size everything you can try it by yourself uh, this point this slash zero is added at the end only to put the termination character of the string manually by ourselves ok thank you hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any doubts or any clarification needed regarding this program or any other aspects in C language please feel free to contact me this is my email id it underscore teacher one at yahoo.com thank you for watching this video have a nice day goodbye